All right, do you need to apply eyeshadow every single time that you do your makeup or can you skip it and still get a really polished, pretty look? We're gonna do this look today on camera and you can decide for yourself whether or not I need eyeshadow anyway. So for this tutorial, I wanted it to be so much about pretty skin. So obviously I'm gonna start out with a color corrector and those places are under my eyes. I do have a couple blemishes right now from breakouts with the heat. And then I have a couple of age spots that are pretty darn bad. And of course I forgot primer before I did my corrector. I'm gonna do it anyway. This is the Flower Beauty. This is the Whip Supernova Celestial. So I just uh, put a bit of this on. It comes out a lot because basically it is a mousse type product. It feels really good on the skin and it's really beautiful because it has that purple brightening effect to it. I like it a lot because it feels very hydrating. It feels very, very light, which is nice in the summertime. You can see how that's kind of making my skin a little bit glowy. So I really like that. I also wanted to show you a brightening powder. This is the point when I go ahead and I put my powder on during my foundation routine. Again, if you haven't seen that, I'll I'll link that video below it is it's different order than probably what you're used to if you haven't seen me do this this can make powder this is a purple lavender powder which is so pretty and i love it and it's very inexpensive so if you're in another country and you can find it go ahead and try and grab it i did find it on yes style it is just the refill which you can put like in a z palette if you want to but this is the one that i'm going to use on part of my face it is really really pretty and i like it a lot for brightening i just just think it does the trick so well and for exactly what I want it to which is kind of you know setting down my primer my color corrector now if you can't get your hands on that and you're okay with spending just a little bit more because honestly this one is from Fenty this is the mini size and this is her lavender powder which I find is really really close to the same thing it might be a little bit lighter in a sh in the shade than the can make but it is really a fine powder and I have that one too in the mini cost like $18 now for my foundation today I'm using the good apple balm foundation I really like this I think that Angie from hot and flashy did a review on it she liked it I have two colors this one is light 18 and this one is medium 48 I think I'll make sure I list those down below with all my my makeup I always do that the reason that I have these two is because one is a little bit too light one is a little bit too dark they're great undertones though so basically I just kind of just dot into each of them that's all I do to begin with and then I'm going to just buff these in this is such a beautiful foundation and I love the way it sits on my mature skin I also love this foundation for summer because it sets down to a pretty powder look almost it's so beautiful and the coverage the wear time doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles i think you use a ton less than you do if you're using liquid and it's so perfecting and then i'm going to dip into the lighter one and i'm going to do my under eyes and that is another video that i recently have out where i do not use concealer at this point i might go back to some if i can find some that work really well but between my corrector and my foundation i've just found that this works so well and no concealer needed which means for me one less thing that i have to put under my eyes and boy is it working so good for me i love this technique i'll make sure i link that video if you haven't seen it in this tutorial since i'm not doing any sort of eyeshadow i'm going to use the p louise eyeshadow base and that is only so that i can lighten up my eye my eyelids excuse me because they are very very dark and I find that that darkness can be a little bit distracting, especially when you're trying to do a bright look and you have no extra shadow on. I had a couple of you ask me about the new e.l.f. Putty bronzers. I have tried these like I think two or three times. I They're not as good as the blushes, I don't think. It's a little bit lighter in color. I'm using tan lines, which is kind of a medium color, and I'm using beach please, which is really dark. and these are okay. They're very, very balmy. So it's kind of got a lot of a slip to it. And I 
kind of went to the darker one because I wasn't getting enough color out of the lighter one, but it isn't the lightest. It's actually the medium one. I got sent these by e.l.f. by the way. They sent me this beautiful care package, which I was just overjoyed about that I even got noticed by e.l.f. How fun is that? Anyway, I kind of am just dipping down into both of these. I have a little bit of a hard time with my regular brush, which is this big Kabuki fan brush, which I'll link for you guys. I can't seem to get enough on this brush, so I might have to just switch over to a different brush. But I basically use this to go into contour and then just sculpting the jawline down the chin and way in the forehead where I have such a high, high forehead. Everybody says, oh, you don't have forehead, you have a five head, because that means you can put five fingers in between your eyebrows and your hairline. So yeah, I have a five head. This blends out gorgeous, and as you can see, it's doing a really good job of giving me that pretty contour. There is the dark one, and there's the medium one. I like them. I like them a lot. I think they're really good. I do feel like you have to kind of work with them to build them up, which is okay too, because then you won't get streaky looking or patchy or muddy looking. And yeah, I kind of like that about them as well. This is a highlight that I haven't talked about very much on my channel either. This is Skin Lights from Revlon. I love the embossing that they did on this. Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see that. It's really pretty. This one is in 201 Daybreak Glimmer. I tried, I think, when I bought this, because I bought it quite a while ago, I tried to get the lightest one they had. I'm gonna just set this underneath my blush to lighten up my look. I find that this one isn't quite the beaming highlight that you get from so many, and I really like that a lot about it. I'm also gonna take it, and since I'm not wearing any sort of eyeshadow on my eyes, I'm just gonna brighten up my inner corner and that is all of the eyeshadow that I'm going to put on. I don't want it to look dull at all. That's why I put the base on there. But that part, just that little bit of brightening, is going to keep your eyes looking sparkly and bright all day long. The other thing that I do if I'm going to do this all the time is I make sure that I go into the waterline with something bright like this eyeliner that ha is the um, cream color. This one is from Flower Beauty, and it, I think it is called Brightening Pencil gonna do my eyebrows now i probably won't do most of them on camera you guys know because of my hands but the one that i chose today to use i haven't used in a long time i tried really hard to shop my stash and do as much as possible that i haven't used for a while this is the wet n wild retractable brow pencil let me see if i can find a color for you guys it says ash brown on it i always look try to look for an ash brown color this is kind of you're not gonna be able to see that but it's a triangle shape on that tip so it gives a little bit more control in how you do your brows so i'm going to I'll start these on camera a little bit, but I probably will go off camera to do the majority of them just because it's time consuming and my hands go a little bit berserk when I do these. I feel like eyebrows are so important no matter what look you're doing. Take a look at the difference in the two eyes. It not only frames your eyes, but it gives your face a lot of dimension kind of so you're not just looking like your eyes are flat like they have no life to them I think eyebrows are so essential I do really like this eyebrow pencil because for me it's pretty darn easy to use I don't have to spend a ton of time using it because it is a little bit fatter you know I love a micro brow pencil I think they're fantastic for doing precision work but when you're in a hurry and you just want to get an eyebrow done this is a great way to just get through it quickly because it puts them down really fast and then to set them you need to use the nyx brow glue i think i talked about this in my favorites at the drugstore not favorites um, beauty brand superstars at the drugstore and i love this it sets your eyebrows and your eyebrows are not going to move all day because i have a few random brows that through the day they'll just trail down and then they'll poke straight down and i'll look in the mirror a little bit later and go oh well that's a nice look it's just looking straight down at me but and it's right here so this brow gel will just glue them in place just like the name says you're gonna have those suckers stuck 
all day long and they'll look great at the end of the day too. Let's do a little pretty cream blush. This is the Pixi On The Glow blush and I can't read that fine print. So this says Tinted Moisture Stick and this one is in Floor or Flower, I guess it is. Use on your cheeks or your lips. I don't use this on my lips, but it's a great color. I will show it to you. They sent me this as well. I'm kind of trying out stuff that I got sent and Kind of enjoying myself with that a little bit i'm picking that up on a stipple brush because that does work quite a bit better for me and just going to stipple in that blush now i'm going to put a little bit more blush on than i normally would i'm going to go in with a powder after this because i want to show you another powder blush i got but this blush right here it does give just a very soft wash of color this is from moira and this is their signature ombre blush and this one is in i hate it when i can't see even if the print's bigger this one's in bella pink 03 this has such a beautiful embossed look to it it's an ombre blush and it's bright and pretty and they have a ton of colors i got one that i got for fall and then i got this one and i just i love them both i think they're so pretty they're beautiful powders and they really hug the cheeks i really like them and just fun packaging and with the embossing just makes you feel special when you're using your blush and also since i am not going to be putting any eyeshadow on my lips can be um brighter and bolder and prettier and i'm going to use four lip products yeah, that's excessive, but I get to because it's fun. And so I'm going to start out with this Cokie Liner in Plum. I believe it's in Plum. And Plum Purple. There it is. So I'm going to outline my lips. never tried Koki lip liners before. They're one of my favorite formula. They're extremely creamy. It's a gel like formula and they really blend well. They're really, really pretty. And I'm using Dahlia Desire from the Petal Pelt lipsticks from Flower Beauty. So pretty. I don't normally wear this bridal lip, but I can go for it when I'm not doing eyes. Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Native. This is a very, almost a nude color, not quite a nude color. It's kind of a pinky nude color, I guess. So I'm going to put this in the middle to give an ombre effect. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Lifter Gloss and I'll make sure this is linked below. I don't know what color this is. Right in the middle, give a juicy pout there love that taking my super fluffy brush and i am going to set my under eyes because of the weather and how hot it is i'm going to try that purple i haven't tried this on my under eyes because i'm kind of in love with the becca but if it's a brightening one i kind of want that but you know it's kind of weird because when you talk about purple you look think about dark circles under your eyes but i think this might be really good because it's just a little bit and it has those light reflecting properties now i'm just going to set down whatever's left on my brush and I'm just gonna set down the rest of my makeup. If you're not gonna wear any sort of eyeshadow, take your bronzer brush and just go across these eyelids completely. And whatever's on there is gonna kind of give your eyes just a pretty shadow look anyway. It's not gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be just a, enough that it really kind of gives your eyes a little bit of dimension. Gonna give each eyelash here a little bit of a curl. And I am trying out a new mascara from MAC. I saw this when I was in Ulta and I don't normally buy high-end mascaras because I think the other ones are just as good, but I thought that maybe you guys might be interested in this. This isn't going to be a complete wear test, but I will make sure that down in the description box, I give you my thoughts about how it wore during the day. This one is called Magic Extension 5 millimeter Fiber fiber mascara, whatever that means. Ditch your falsies. 90% said lashes achieve over the top exaggerated volume. 94% said lashes looked fuller and lifted. 
So we will find out as I go ahead and do this. I am going to line the top lashes with my e.l.f. liner and I work one eye at a time. If you haven't seen that before, I'll make sure that I list my mascara routine so you can see that as well. And also the serum that I use, which I fell in love with years and years ago. Usually when I'm wearing my eyeshadow, I won't bring my liner all the way down on my eye. I'll leave some of this out because it makes it look just a little bit too pulled down on my mature your eyes. I am going to fill it in just a tiny bit. I'm going to do really light flicks in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it come up just a little bit. And so I'm kind of almost making a fake eye shape right there. And then your mascara will help to fill everything in and make it look more voluminous. So the mascara it's got a just a regular wand and it looks like it's just kind of the evergreen tree or the christmas tree that goes up and doesn't look like anything much different than what i normally use i don't see any little fibers in there yet maybe they will come as i work with it i don't know i am liking how it's building up for me hopefully that mirror wasn't in your way the whole dang entire time okay that's one coat what do i think I don't see any fibers. I don't know what they're talking about about that. Maybe I just haven't gotten into the tube enough yet, but I don't see any fibers, but I do like that this is not a clumpy formula. There's not a ton on the brush when you pull it out. That to me is so important because you can look like your eyelashes are just getting super clumped together. And even though my eyelashes are a little bit longer, I don't have a lot of them. So it's nice to get each individual lash just a little bit um, defined. So I do like that. This is my second coat. I am working, there's a fan on above me. So I'm working like that a little bit. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I do like it. Sorry about the barking in the background. When you're working with your mascara, I know that so many makeup artists and people on YouTube say, put your mascara down in there at the base and wiggle it. I'm a person that works more with the tip of my wand because I don't have a lot of control over my hands as most of you know and so using the tip to go down in there instead of the whole entire wand just suits me so good because i don't have to worry about am i gonna get mascara on where i don't want it am i gonna smudge that kind of thing okay so i've done one coat on this side now i'm gonna have to go back and do the other coat but great length on them great separation loved the wand on it it coated everything it's really giving me a lot of length i i really do like it i will not because this does not say that it's waterproof i will not put this on my bottom lashes i'm going to use a waterproof on my bottom lashes i'm using the doll 10 from nyx this is the waterproof formula and i'm going to put that on my bottom lashes and i'm probably not going to do much more than the outside right here all right, lastly, I'm going to go in with my Bella Jade Setting Spray. This does exactly what the Urban Decay All Nighter does, but it does it without, without alcohol, which I think is fabulous. I put this on a brush, and then I'm going to set my makeup because of these hot, hot days. The nice thing about this is it's green tea, and I love that it doesn't contain any alcohol. I think it's fabulous. And because it's so warm, this is really going to help me not have any break apart under my eyes or in my t-zone right here by my nose and my chin that is the finished look what do you guys think do you think we need eyeshadow every time we do our makeup in order to get a glam look I like this so much i love this look i've been doing this a lot because my husband and i we've been moving we've been on the go and i kind of have been having fun not worrying about eyeshadow just you know putting on the other makeup and when i do that it seems like my makeup takes like probably 15 to 20 minutes less because of all the blending that you do on your eyeshadow. So let me know in the comment section if you're somebody that likes to skip uh, eyeshadow quite often and let me know what you think of this look. I would really appreciate it. I love you so very much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye my friends.